think this is gonna be harder than I originally thought. This is Usain Bolt, and this is Usain Bolt setting the world record in the 100 meter dash. His time, 9.58 seconds. That makes him the fastest man to ever live. Still, there's always room for improvement. He's obviously the fastest man in the world. Can he be faster is the question everybody wants to know. Absolutely. His lateral movement is horrible. So I figured, with a little effort, I could probably break Usain Bolt's world record in the 100 meter dash. My first step was to get emotional support from my friends. Do you think I could beat Usain Bolt in the 100 meter dash? No. It's not even close. No. You're slow as molasses. Because your legs aren't long enough. You don't have the extra twitch muscles. Even though that didn't go as planned, I knew there were people I could count on. Hey. Hey mom, I have a quick question for you. Do you think I could beat Usain Bolt in a foot race? Well, you're a good runner, but you're not a world-class sprinter. Do you think I could beat Usain Bolt in a foot race? No. Because you're a long-distance runner, you're too slow. You'd have to be running straight downhill to have a chance. I was starting to think running 9.58 seconds in the 100 meter dash might be a little bit harder than I originally thought so I decided to consult an expert. After scrolling through hundreds of YouTube channels promising me ways to run faster, I finally found someone I could trust. Hey guys, this is All The Above Running. Um, this is my channel helping people just learn running skills, strategies, and all that. With only two subscribers, I knew he wasn't going to make grandiose promises just to get viewers. So next one is calf stretch drill, because calves are tight and you show off your calves. With all of the wisdom I could handle and my calves looking fly, I decided I was ready to put what I learned to the test. Three, two, one. Sixteen two. That's fake news. That did not run sixteen two. Maybe I hadn't properly applied what I had learned, but thankfully, I had a plan B. Why don't Andy say plan B? After plan B, it was on to plan C. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna start about 20 meters behind the starting line. Get a running start, and that way, by the time I hit the actual start, I'm gonna be able to crush Usain Bolt. Go! How'd I do? I still out about a 16-2. What? It also turns out that track and field has rules against these sort of things. Okay, I've got it. I'm gonna go run with a tailwind. That way, there is no chance I don't run the fastest 100 meters of all time. Still about 16 2. We're getting tired here. To make matters worse, there are rules against doing this too. None of this was working, so I tried to think back to what my friends and family had said. You're slow as molasses. Because your legs aren't long enough. You don't have the extra twitch muscles. You are a good runner, but you're not a world class sprinter. You're too slow. You'd have to be running straight downhill to have a chance. Straight downhill. Straight downhill. That's when it hit me. If I wanted to beat Usain Bolt's 100 meter time, I had to run downhill. But not just any hill. The steepest hill I could find. 14.9 Go! I think this is going to be harder than I originally thought. And as you probably guessed, running downhill is apparently against the rules too. 
All hope seemed lost. I was depressed and starting to spend day after day in bed, watching videos like Nerve and Dictionary, Alexander Famit Slit, and Double Rainbow All the Way Across the Sky. That's when I came across this. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Thanks to Shia LaBeouf. Hey Kyle, is it Shia LaBeouf or Shia LaBeouf? No one cares. Okay, okay, whatever. Shia was right. I could do it. I just had to believe in myself. So I headed back to the track for one final run. Three, two, one. Woo! Talk about records. What did, what did I run? Let's get that. Let's get that. Nine, four, eight. Woo! Woo! So how did you, how did you just do that? Oh, well, uh, I started right about here. And then Usain Bolt would normally start back there, so I had like a 25 meter head start, but I mean, a win is a win. I had done it, what so many people said I couldn't do. You see, what I had learned from this experiment is that anything is possible. That, and to make sure that your titles are super specific so you deliver on what you promise.